All right, you're going to have to forgive my crappy little camera, but I did get some video of this in an attempt to try and get a 3D look at, at what's going on. This is going to be a water heater that's heated in three different ways. Now, the first way is going to be using rocket stove technology. So this is where you have a teeny tiny little fire that, that burns uh, very hot, very fast, and pushes the hot air around. Right here, you can kind of see the um, where you put the the fuel in. The picture's not very good, but that dark square, that, that dark spot in the square, that's where you put the fuel in. You put the wood in there, um, get a good hot fire going, and then the smoke, the the, the exhaust from that, is going to go behind that into a combustion chamber here. And uh, once it goes through that combustion chamber, then you can really push the heat where you want, which includes around the floor. And this is a bathhouse. So around the floor in this bathhouse is, is one place. Um, and then to the water heater, which is in the back. We're going to see that in a minute. And then back down and outside and up through this chimney. So I guess in a way it kind of makes the outside sidewalk uh, a little warm too. But uh, now we're going to go inside and... Uh, we're going to be able to see the actual water heater, which is heated not only with the rocket stove, so that's wood heat, a wood heat stove, but it's also heated through solar, and in a moment we'll see the pipes going up for the solar. Um, and on this property they also have micro hydro. They don't have any, they're, they're completely off grid, so they don't have any grid electricity. But then the excess heat, or the excess power from the microhydro that's not used, is used to heat the water in this water tank. So as we look up, we can see the, 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 the pipes going to the solar heat. So um, three different kinds of heat. Now, one of the things that uh, one of the instructors mentioned, and this is at a workshop about using rocket stoves, they said they'll never teach anybody how to use rocket stove technology for water heat because if you think about it steam power is very powerful and, and there's some really funny videos on YouTube showing where people have blown up houses and things using water heaters that were configured improperly there's a lot more fascinating stuff at this particular eco village and I'm gonna try and get some more videos up soon um, in the meantime uh, I hope you come on out to talk about this video and a lot of the other videos that I've taken uh, at permies.com where we talk about this kind of thing all the time.